it's becoming more clear to me that a lot of innovation is going to come from the big uh, retailers. They are in a great position to unlock the value that we, we expect to be unlocked through the internet of value. Why? Because they are at the conversion, convergence of the physical world. They're selling things, you know, think of Amazon that is selling, you know, anything from books, clothes, electronics, whatever. Think of Ikea that's selling, you know, furniture and so on. Um, they, they are in, in that world. They're also in the digital world very often because they sell subscriptions, they sell music, they sell video, they sell um, uh, digital uh, services. And they are in a position to also integrate the metaverse, which is just emerging. And all this, of course, is tied with payments. Therefore, for me, you know, this peer-to-peer -peer exchange between merchants and consumers is, is very natural to evolve through the commerce business. So I expect to see a lot of innovation there from the big retailers, and then it will trickle down to, to the, the smaller or, or uh, medium-sized uh, retailers. And, and to give you an example of that, I want to share with you what IKEA is doing, because Amazon you know, is huge. They have cloud services. They have all sorts of digital services, but also physical services. To me, it makes sense for Amazon to unlock uh, a lot of value by creating shopping experiences through tokens uh, that, that will keep the customers uh, really within their ecosystem and, and really unlock um, uh, value and, and new business models. But if I bring you the example of IKEA, which is obviously they're not offering anything digital, they're just offering, you know, physical, they're a physical commerce, but they are also starting to look at how you can walk in the store, start your shopping experience, and then continue that shopping experience online or vice versa. Begin online and then go and continue uh, in the store in a seamless way. And also they're looking at if you shop online or, or, or in the physical store or in this hybrid session that, that I spoke about before, if you go and pick up your, you know, your cart, your shopping cart, whatever you've decided to buy, not from the IKEA store, but from where they have the inventory, then you will be rewarded. They're already working on that. So that, look at it. We're talking really about an idea where this has not only environmental impact, it's a way that the customer can give, it's, it's selling services and value back to the merchant because the merchant is not only benefiting from reducing their CO2 emissions, but also labor costs and, and consumer space. So this kind of exchange is going to become, you know, seamless through tokens. And I see much more of that. I see Square, for example, as a great a, a case where they can streamline with tokens affiliate marketing. I, the other day they announced that they're linking Square merchants to TikTok. So they can sell on that platform. Now, through crypto rails, they could do a seamless affiliate marketing um, uh, business there. And again, uh, reduce their dependence on, on, uh, on, on ads and everything. Um, 
And the last uh, uh, part that I want to mention, and, and I'll stop here, uh, is the fact that we are seeing also luxury brands taking advantage of, of blockchain um, technology for the authentication of their products, but they're also using it for gamification of, of shopping experiences. So all in all, there's so much potential here. Um, and before closing, I want to share with you what my thinking is going forward. I really think that big retailers are going to push the envelope of what money is. They're going to use blockchain technology to unlock value within the, their own ecosystem. They're going to create new shopping experiences and they're going to shape Web.3 because they're at this convergence of the physical, the online world and, and, and the metaverse and they'll build the first bridges. And on that note, I will stop. <laughs>